Hi guys, Damgo here from the USA and this one here is the Roebuck 3D printer from the UK. Now not only that ramps, it also quite different from my normal opening and that's because this printer here is no normal 3D printer. First, it has no control, no buttons, no touchscreen, and that means the only way you can use it is to connect it to a computer. You cannot print from an SD card or a thumb drive either. Secondly, its print head here has two nozzles, meaning it's a dual extruder, but unlike any dual extruder printer on the market, it can only print for now from one source of filament right here. Now that's quite confusing because there's actually two filament intact, number one and number two. Turns out there's reason for everything. Now one nozzle is used to print fine details and the other is to print larger detail and that means the printer here can print a lot faster compared to other printers that use a single nozzle to print all parts of a 3D object. The printer here uses smart spool. Smart because it tells the printer what type of filament is being used and how much is left. The good news is when the filament runs out, you can actually make your own spoon using third-party filaments. In this case, you will lose the smart element, but the printer will still work. During a print job, the printer pulls the plastic string from the spoon, melt it using the print head here, and then extrude it onto the print platform underneath to form the three object. The print platform can be pulled out very easily if you want to clean it. The printer can automatically level the print platform but you do have to manually calibrate the distance as well as the level of material output. Now this is a very tricky process made trickier by the wording of the instruction. For example, over here it says that you have to open the nozzle so that the material can flow out. But flow can be anything really. Is it like a beer tap or is it when you want to apply eye drops? And over here, for gauging the distance between the nozzle above and the brink platform below, you have to make sure that it's just enough for a piece of paper to move around freely. Now, free can be understood quite differently in different parts of the world. For example, folks in North Korea would have no idea how to make it work. The thing is, calibration is a very important process that determines the success and also the quality of the print. I learned that the hard way. Take a look at this have to make this and a bunch of this before I can make this. Now it takes me quite some time really, a few days to get things right. And that means it's going to take you longer. For now, the Robox is a very interesting printer. Some are going to love it for its fast print speed and the level of customization. Other might have a problem getting it up and running. And for all of us, it's very expensive at $1,500. For more on this one, check out my full review at CNET.com. And to answer the question, a lot of you have been asking me, no, this printer cannot bring you a girlfriend or a boyfriend, but it can bring you this. Just make a bunch of these and give out to random people every day. You're going to get some. And I'm not talking from experience. And that's because I'm doing all this has been the first look at the Robux 3D printer. Hey, take it. You need it.